here this evening uh, for the debate, new to democratisation process and challenges. And we're very honoured to have our, our guest of honour here today, uh, Dr. Yassine Akhil, AK Party uh, Vice Chairman and in charge of Foreign Affairs. Um, my name is Stephen McKinnon. Um, I'm here because well, I'm a good friend of Ibrahim's, as I'm sure some of you are, and uh, I am a, the, the prospective parliamentary candidate for Aberration for the Labour Party. Uh, and I'm also somebody who has a very close and active interest in Turkey. Uh, prior to the, the job that I'm currently doing, I, I work for the World Economic Forum and had the pleasure of dealing very closely with uh, the government of Turkey uh, in the context of uh, the regional summit that we held in Istanbul uh, back in uh, 2012, uh, which of course was an important uh, meeting following, of course, the very famous uh, meeting in Davos where Prime Minister Erdogan uh, left the stage in the context of a very emotional debate about uh, Gaza which I'm sure that some of you will recall very well. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Stephen. My apologies for being a little late. I was doing an adjournment debate on Sainsbury's, trying to stop them, world-shattering debate, trying to stop Sainsbury's from uh, uh, taking over my constituency. <laughs> it is a huge pleasure to be here today. I always enjoy coming to speak at meetings of the Centre for Turkish Studies because I am well aware and probably every member of Parliament is very well aware of the work that the Centre has been doing under the leadership of our dear friend Ibrahim Dobbs who deserves, in my view, a round of applause for all wonderful work. He is the only person who was able to email me at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> asking for confirmation uh, that I'm A, coming to the meeting and all other details about the success of the meeting. So thank you, Ibrahim, for the marvellous work that you do. I'm also delighted to, uh, to be here with my friend Stephen Killick. And this is the first time that I have uh, the opportunity to congratulate Stephen on his selection as a parliamentary candidate for the next election. Uh, he will win because they weigh the votes in his constituency in Wales. And I can tell you for certain, some of us may not be here after the 7th of May, but Stephen Kinnock will be here uh, because uh, of his seat, because of his incredible hard work, because of what he has done throughout his life for the Labour movement. Um, my family has known him for many years, when my sister Valerie was a member of the Ealing Labour Party, um, Stephen and her and Rachel uh, were all present at those meetings. So it's great to see you here, Stephen. And, uh, I know that you will have a wonderful political career when you join <coughs> this place. But I'm in particular delighted to say uh, a big warm welcome to Dr. Aktai, uh, to have the deputy leader of the a ruling party here in Parliament in this historic room <coughs> which is used normally in the evenings for the um, gatherings of the political parties. The Labour Party meets in this room once a week, addressed by Ed Miliband. The Conservative Party meets once a week, addressed by uh, the Prime Minister. And the Liberal Democrat Party meets once a week in this room, addressed by Nick Clegg. So if you see, feel any chewing gum left under the table, uh, this is probably because of uh, the members of Parliament who come in here. So it's a very historic room. So we welcome you here most warmly. My first visit to Turkey occurred when I was the Minister for Europe. And I was given instructions by Tony Blair to go to Turkey as often as possible and to tell the Turkish people and the Turkish government that the British government, led by him, wanted Turkey to be a member of the EU, that we in Britain were Turkey's best friend in the European Union, and that we should do everything that we possibly can to help develop and modernise uh, this country. <coughs> you don't need us to do this, because the massive changes that have occurred in Turkey over the last few years demonstrate the fact that you all can do it on your own. 
Europe. And the government has uh, led to the modernization of a country that is pivotal in international relations, in the economy of the European uh, family, beyond the European Union, as far as NATO is concerned, and now because of all that is happening in the Middle East. So your presence here today enables the meeting to focus on a very important issue. How do we take that uh, stage uh, further? How do we go that one stage further to make sure that Turkey continues on the path of, of uh, uh, being a modern, dynamic uh, European country? Uh, and I hope that when you come to speak, you will be able to tell us more about this. Uh, sadly, I have to be away. I have to return to Leicester to tell them the good news about Sainsbury's, uh, but also uh, to do other things uh, there tomorrow. But I want to come because uh, this centre uh, is of such importance. It's, it's a real bridge builder between parliamentarians and those who come from Turkey. Without it, we would not be informed of the developments over there. And uh, as you see from the front page of uh, the cover of this uh, magazine, many MPs of all political parties, because this is a non-party political meeting, even though you have two Labour uh, people here, uh, of all political parties support the work of the centre and want to wish it great success for the future. I look forward to my next visit to Turkey. Ibrahim keeps promising to take me, uh, but whenever I'm about to go, he tells me there's an election on. I think Turkey has more elections than the United States of America. Uh, but uh, I hope to visit again soon, sadly not before the R election, but after it's over I certainly want to come and see all the developments that uh, I noticed uh, uh, were beginning when I was there as Minister of Europe. So thank you for coming. I hope you have a very successful meeting and I look forward to being informed of your deliberations. Thank you.